Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. Coaches, the Jamoti Podcast is powered by Biology. What's your BSA score? The Biology Skills Assessment is the only verified skills metric endorsed by the NAIA, NJCAA, and a growing number of NCAA coaches to discover and develop the best talent for your team. This four minute, 40 shot test can be taken free today on the Bology mobile app. Elevate your game. Well, man, uh, my first question I think for you, I, since I've known you, I just feel like you're one of the most intentional people that that I know, not just with the way that you coach and, and, and work with your players, but with yourself. I mean, you're in always have been in incredible shape when you look at when you look at, I always talk with Matt Garnett like we we just are not we're nothing compared to Jamin when you look at a team picture out at the beach you're like oh yeah look at all these players oh wait hold on the biggest swollest one right there that's their head coach like so you, you you've just got this this next level but I really do want to know what are some of those daily habits that should set you up for success Yes, I'm going to steal this line from Matthew McConaughey. Just, I just try to sweat every day. You know, like I really do. Like I'm going to work out every single day. And what that looks like kind of depends on how my body's feeling, my mood, my time. I love CrossFit, but as I've gotten older, you know, like right now I've been dealing with a knee issue for like three months. So hmm. like yesterday, for example, I, I went and I swam laps and I did a more of a traditional kind of bodybuilding workout. The day before Bro that, workout. Was, Let's go. <laughs> The day before that, I was Olympic lifting. I'll cycle some days. I don't. Um, I just try to get a workout in every day, and a lot of it is is based on how I feel. And then my diet's obviously a, a huge part. That's the biggest part. I just try to eat. If it had eyes, I try to eat it. Or if it grew out of the ground, I try to eat it. And if a lab coat, if a dude in a lab coat made it, I try not to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so the Doritos, a guy in a lab coat was making that to get me addicted. Yeah. I'm gonna try to stay away. And if it's um a potato or chicken or something like that. I'm going to eat it. Neat. Obviously you're doing that for your, for your own, you know, for your health and for you to be around for your family and to be good. But how do you find that, that what kind of example that sets for your players? Like, is that a part of your process too? Cause I think all of us as coaches need to be, we, we think a lot about X's and O's. We think about how we're leading and how we're communicating, but also like Mono Watson says, more is caught than taught. So we want them to be in shape. Is that a part of kind of your thought process there? Yeah, it is. And just, I think for me to be at my best, I've got to do my daily habits like you talked about. Um, and um, I've got some spiritual ones I do as well. And, and I try to get outside every day as well. It's another daily habit, but the working out and the eating healthy is a, is a huge part of kind of what, what gets me going. And, and I feel like I have a pretty good energy level and keeps my energy levels high. And yeah, I think like you said, like Mono says, you know, I think being a role model, we, we talk about nutrition and our guys taking their body and their craft seriously. And if we don't do that, what, how are they going to take it seriously? You know, we're almost a, a farce. Yeah. I'm sitting here with a Snickers bar guys. Listen, you got to be eating clean like that. <laughs> that's just, that's uh And there's nothing better like um, than, in the in a weight session, I might once a month hop in and I'll do the the weight session with our guys. There's nothing better than throwing around more weight than your guys. You know, if you're snatching more or back squatting more, that's a that's a pretty I mean, good feeling. It humbles them a little bit too. I'm sorry to hear about your knee, but there's I, I'll be completely honest. There's a part of me that thought, oh wow, he's he's human. Like he <laughs> <laughs> talk about some spiritual habits that you have daily. Yeah, so I'm going to start every day and end every day on my knees. You know, when I when I wake up, I just want to thank the Lord for the day. And and I just say the Latin word, serve me. I mean, I'm here to serve and help me be the best version of myself I can and do your will. And at the end of the day, I'm going to hit my knees before I go to bed and thank God for the day and and ask for his forgiveness for the times I've, I've fallen and I've sinned. And then I'm Catholic. And um, so part of that, I try to get to daily mass. I try to say my daily rosary. And I I'm, I'm doing the Bible in a year. So I read the Bible every day. And, um, and I'm, you know, I, I do that Bible in a year. It takes about 25 minutes a day. I'll do that as well. And that's kind of my daily spiritual habits, man. Have you ever listened to father Mike, father Mike Smith? Yeah. yeah his yeah, podcast. He's impressed. incredible. One, his voice is great. Like I just like listening to him read the Bible and then, yeah. but, but then his, his insight after 
is awesome. And I actually, ju- I just thought of it because I've gotten away from listening to that, but yeah, no, it's incredible. You know, when they take you through historically what was going on at the time mm-hmm. and yeah, I love taking that deep dive into it. You know, and I, I love that uh, on on here we I openly get into to faith. It's not something I ever shy away from. You know, and so for believers, obviously starting in prayer. I mean, that's convicting to me. Starting and ending your day. I think last night I ended the day with Big Brother. You know, that I was watching that. So like, like thank you for that that little reminder right there. But then I, I think people, uh, you know, coaches, even if you're not, uh, you know, in in of the faith or, or not believers or um, starting your day with gratitude and ending your day with gratitude. Uh, those are great practices. If you do it in prayer, awesome. But then making sure that, I mean, what a great way to start it or, or, you know, bookend your days. And then probably we're less stressed. We're better coaches, better husbands. Why, you know, all those things. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a 30 minute prayer session in the morning. It can be just one to two minutes on your knees at the beginning and the end of the day and just, yeah, intentionally starting and in your day in prayer with the Lord. Or like you said, if you're not spiritual, not face, not a part of your life with gratitude, just get you in a better mind space. And that's a great nugget there, too, because it's just like with working out, just do something uh, sweats in some way where if you think because if you think about prayer and working out the same where, man, if I can't do an hour of it, ah, I'm not going to do it. That's not good. So I, I completely agree. Something small. And, and again, it's about the intention and the why behind what you're doing and not just a ritual, not something you have to do, man. You get to do this. So great Absolutely. reminders there, man. What else with your day? Yeah. So and then like I talked about, so my my spiritual stuff, I'm going to get my workout in. And, and even if I have 15 minutes a day, you can get a heck of a workout in in 15 minutes. Yeah, you, that's where you can get in more of the CrossFit. You're moving the whole time and really getting after it. And I try to get outside every day. I know I live in Florida, so it's a lot easier here. And, and my situation's different. I'm a mile from campus. I can walk to work. I bike to work. Matt, to be honest with you, I've driven my car since school started uh, two times. That's it. Wow. It's either, it's either my bike walking or my golf cart. That's wow. <laughs> so I try to get outside, get sunshine and just, um, I feel like it, it wakes me up. I'm a coffee guy and, and I've tried to really limit that as much as I can. <laughs> And I feel like in the afternoons when, you know, after lunch, when my head's bobbing as I'm checking emails or watching film or whatever, if I just get outside and walk and make a call or, or meet with a player and walk as I'm meeting with a player, that the sun and the getting outside, it re-energizes me. Mm. You know, over the years here, I've been, I've been thinking, you know, poor Jamin had to leave Texas to, you know, leave his friends and his family to go back to Florida. And then I hear about what your days are like and what you're going through. So, yeah, I don't feel I don't feel so bad for you anymore. No, that sounds awesome, man. Yeah, no, we're um, we're blessed. That's for sure. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamodi Podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.